Welcome to the Division Weapon Guides. Today we are covering a weapon that we have already covered in the past, the Super 90. We're remaking this because we have added a lot more information to our guides and we wanted to apply it to this weapon. In this guide we will talk about the general information, measurements, statistics, recommended weapon modifications, recommended weapon talents, weapon variants and the recommended class. The gas operated Super 90 is generally called the Benelli M4 Super 90 or M1014. It is classed as a shotgun. It's manufactured by Benelli Army SPA and it was designed in Italy in 1998. The weapon has a decent size at 885mm and it isn't too heavy either with it weighing 3.82 kilograms. Like most shotguns, it fires 12 gauge buckshot rounds. The fire mode is semi-automatic. It doesn't have the highest damage out of its class at 50,000 due to the semi-auto nature of the weapon, but the damage per second is pretty good. The headshot multiplier is, as for all the shotguns, 80%. It is effective up to the optimal range of 9 meters, which isn't a lot, so you have to be in the enemy's face. The rate of fire is good, being at 150 rounds per minute, but it is inferior to the other semi-auto shotgun, the SASG-12. The handling characteristics are not that good, but that's nothing new for the shotguns, with the accuracy being 16% and the stability being at 70%. Within its effective range you don't have to worry much about the handling. It has a magazine capacity of 8 rounds, but you will be able to reload in 5 seconds with a shell by shell reload. Just like all the other shotguns, it gets an increased stagger bonus. It doesn't hold all 4 of the modification slots. It has the optic, magazine and underbarrel. For the optic, which is small, we recommend the Pro Red Dot Sight, which increases the headshot damage and stability. The magazine will contain an extended magazine, which increases the magazine capacity possibly up to 16 rounds, and it increases the rate of fire. And finally, for the underbarrel, which is also small, we recommend the PEQ15 laser, which increases the hip fire accuracy and the accuracy. The superior and high-end weapon variants allow the weapon to have up to three weapon talents. Here are the three we recommend. The first weapon talent should be obvious and will be responsive, which increases the damage by X% percent when closer than 10 meters to the target. The second weapon talent is brutal, which increases the headshot damage by X%. Percent. And the third weapon talent is ferocious, which increases the damage against elite and named enemies by X%. Percent. There are four variants. The Super 90, this is the standard with the design similar to the Benelli M4 shotgun. The Fireman Super 90, it being a DLC weapon is aesthetically different due to the tape on the weapon and the 10 camo, but statistically it isn't any different. The Tactical Super 90 Short Barrel Shotgun or SPS has a modified stock and barrel design plus a handle for easier use. It overall is also a lot shorter. It generally has a better damage profile but boasts no other chain stats. And finally the Marine Super 90. It looks like a longer variant of the Tactical Super 90 SPS but with a chrome camo. The damage is slightly higher for this variant but no other statistics are increased. The Super 90 is a versatile shotgun that specializes in close quarters battles. It fits right in the tank roll, which is specialized in sponging bullets and being a distraction. In close to medium range engagement you will be the best. The build, based on this weapon, is also focused around getting headshots. As a shotgun it has a 80% headshot multiplier, the pro red dot sight and brutal weapon talent add extra headshot damage and thirdly you want to select the one is none talent that applies a 50% chance to not consuming the bullet when landing a headshot. 
All this together should make for a high damage output, while the rest of the build makes for a tank-like gear set. For a build setup on the tank, click on the annotation that's on the screen right now. The setup is similar, except you want to select the Marine Super 90 as the primary weapon. We hope you now have an overview of the Super 90 in the division. Thank you for watching. The sources that we have used are mentioned in the description. If you enjoyed the guide, please consider leaving a rating, subscribe for more related content and please support us on social media. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below.